mtu akisema wanashabikia yani wanashabikia kila jambo au watu wana akili timamu kweli kwa sababu unakuta hapo kuna watu ambao wanashabikia mpaka wana, mm. wanapiga makofi wanashabiki kwamba mm. amesema jambo la maana gani mm. kitu cha maana ambacho kwamba amekwambia kwamba gasi itakuwa ya 300 halafu unga okay. uko juu kitu gani mm. unashabikia hapo mtu mm-hmm. chukilia hapo atakuwa upcoming sponsor naja kwako tu saa hizi kidogo tu nikubalie nimkaribishe necessary evil necessary evil habari ya jioni kaka Uh, jaribu kuwasha mike kando ya jina lako kuna kuna kitu imeandikwa mai uh, hey, iko wazi iko imewaka sasa habari ya leo kaka wanisikia kabisa habari ya leo ambaje ah nashukuru habari za Kenya si tunao salama sisi yeah. huko tunajinaise tuna tunashabikia tu matukio ambayo yanazidi kutukia kila kuchao sisi tunasomea kwa umbali lakini bado unajua nyumbani ni nyumbani ehe so it's, it's very saddening wonder mm-hmm. what is happening. Mhm. Uh, mimi kwa kweli mimi ni mtu azimio damu. Okay. But once serikali ya hasla ilipoingia mm-hmm. we had no option but kukubali. Okay. But sasa tunaona <laughs> walisahau real fast ama mm-hmm. kuna mtu alisema power corrupts. Mhm and absolute power corrupts absolutely absolutely mhm sasa wale walipofika state house mhm wakasahau waja wao hata hata wacha sisi waazimio wakasahau hata hasla nation yenyewe okay so mimi uh, huwa sina tabia ya kuzomea watu ah mlimpigia kura mhm mhm maana huwa na assume kuwa rais akiapishwa huwa ni rais wa nchi sio wala si rais wa wa pati yake ama uh, the coalition Mabuasi. yake. Mm-hmm. Right. But mm-hmm. Ruto kwa kweli huyu jamaa tangu anybody mwenye ambaye ashai kumfuatilia. Mhm. Huyu jamaa alichaguliwa na Moi for a reason. Okay. Alikuwa student akaja akamshinda a stalwart wa Kanu ikamshukua mm-hmm. Moi. Mhm. Akaitwa State House. Mm-hmm. And that is when he starts started to shine. Moyo mm-hmm. alishangaa ni nani huyu kijana mdogo? Mhm. Mhm. nowhere. Okay. Akamshinda nafikiri alikuwa anaitwa Makto. Ah. Uh, Apaito uh, nani? Chisire nafikiri. I think he was Chisire. Ah, okay. Huyo alikuwa stalwart wa Moyo. Eh. Na So ilimshtua Moyo na Moyo aka realize huyu ndio ambaye mm-hmm. atendeleza kanu in a different name okay. it doesn't mm-hmm. matter jina ni gani lakini basically moyo alisema time moja kanu itaishi miaka miaka moja, moja. Mm-hmm. ndio hii na happen sasa huyu mm-hmm. ndio sababu walikosana na na Gideon Moy maana kisa okay. huyu alikuwa kama mtoto wa kambo okay but sasa moyo aliyeka mtoto wake ambaye amezaa kando akaanza kumgroom mm-hmm. huyo mtoto wa kambo. Okay. Which is iliwakasirisha sana. But mm-hmm. moyo alikuwa anajua anafanya nini? Mhm. Ukiangalia tabia za Ruto ni exactly mm-hmm. dictatorship mm-hmm. za siku za kando. Okay. Once alipoingia akaeka roots game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So mimi one of the things ile ni sudden Mhm. Alipoingia nilijua sasa wa Kenya wataanza kuua. Mhm. And unfortunately tunaiona. Hata hajamaliza mwaka kaka ndio nakwambia na ni smooth talker. Mm-hmm. Very smooth talker. Ni kama vile maneno matamu. Eh wanaitwa panya panya gani wale panya bukua sijui waswahili wanasema. Panya bukua mm-hmm. anakuuma huko anapuliza. Anapuliza. Mhm. Anapuliza but unaumia mhm sasa wa Kenya kama the, I, i think ameitwa nani sponsor alivosema coming sponsor eh coming hey. sponsor alivosema hata hiyo mambo ya mafuta mtangoja sana mhm maana ke ataendelea kufyonza <laughs> tu kufyonza tu ya mm-hmm. atakuwa ananyonya damu ya Kenya tu mhm unaona kwa sababu mhm somehow lazima aendelee kujitajirisha. Mhm. 
na kutajirisha wenzake the few mm-hmm. yeah Alisema serikali yake itazingatia kuanzia chini kwenda juu. Ilikuwa ni mfumo wa bottom up. In fact wakaita bottom up economic model. Economic Wakakuja model. na the plan. Hii the plan ilikuwa i focus na mama mboga na boda boda. Ilikuwa i focus, i focus na mtu wa chini ili mm. walete pesa mfukoni. Lakini licha ya yote nikana kwamba ili happen visivyo. Sasa sio pesa mfukoni, ni ile pesa ambayo huyo mwana hasa ako nayo, hiyo kidogo ndio ni kama wana target. Ndiyo kama sasa ndio wanataka. Ukikumbuka siku ya nikurudishe siku ya ya uh, debate. Mhm. Si alikuja na mama mboga. Ehe. Mama mboga alikuwa wa kamera tu. Mhm. Walipoingia na mama mboga boda boda. Akafuzwa. Mm-hmm. Yaani it was live mimi niliona all the way from the US. Mm-hmm. Ule mama alisukumwa na security. Sasa mm-hmm. kazi yako imeisha. Mhm. Hiyo ilikuwa ni assign kuwa mm-hmm. ah, hapa tunaenda kuungua. Mm-hmm. Ule mama mboga ilikuwa ni kamera tu. Ah, mm-hmm. na mama mboga na boda boda. Kamera sasa ziliposonga alipoingia ule mama mboga alipotelezwa story kesho. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As soon as walipoingia serikali how many markets zilianza kuvunjwa? nyingi sana. Na hata kabla hujaenda hata kwa market, unakumbuka wakati UDA walikuwa na present presidential candidate wao, kulikuwa mm-hmm. na vijana wengine wawili, kulikuwa na mwanadada na chali moja. Mm-hmm. Na nikana kwamba hata tuliwasahau, eh, Ruto akakuja ni kama yeye na present papers, eh. It was all for the camera if you remember. Kama <laughs> tuonyesha jinsi wanaenda through vetting, yule mwanadada hata sijui kama ameshapewa post, eh kwa sababu wengine washapewa vyeo lakini yeye ambaye am, alijitokeza kama mwanadada aliyetaka kusimama na chama cha UDA <laughs> mwanadada ambaye hakuwa kijulikana hata simkumbuki jina lakini alikuwa presidential candidate so do you see it as a, a game that was ilichezwa vizuri sana wana hasla hawakuweza kuona huyu jamaa ali calculate mm-hmm. very well jamaa alikuwa na muda wa kupanga Okay. Ametaka each kitu for years. Sasa okay. amekuwa calculate. Wacha watu wengi wanazingatia tu time alipokuwa deputy president. Ah. Mhm. Kuja mali anza kitambo. Mhm. Ameipanga one of the two books huyu jamaa ko proficient in. Mhm. One 48 laws of power. Okay. Na the art of war. Mhm. Ukimaster hivyo vitabu viwili you can mm-hmm. confuse anybody in the world. Mm-hmm. So huyu jamaa watu wengi hawakuwa wanamuona for what he is. Mm-hmm. Watu wengi wamesahau all the things alifanya, mm-hmm. watu wengi wamesahau vitu ambavyo Gashago alifanya alipokuwa DO. Mhm. Mimi nilizaliwa in a political family kwa hivyo ninawajua. Okay. Siri zao nyingi ninazijua. Mm-hmm. That is why mimi kura yangu si ungewahi kumpatia whether ninge ngawa mimi siku vote manake naishi mbali na Washington DC so mm-hmm. siku vote mm-hmm. but hata kama ningali vote singewahi kumvutia mm-hmm. kwa okay yeah manake nilijua ana wahada wa Kenya which is very mm-hmm. painful mm-hmm. mimi najua politicians ni vigumu kukuwa straight mm-hmm. hata yule ambaye amevaa kitamba cheupe kichwani mm-hmm. ni vigumu kukuwa straight lakini huwa na, nafikiria kwamba after umepigania sana hicho kiti okay i usually think ukiwahi mm-hmm. at least utataka uwe na legacy flani kuwa ah mm-hmm. jinsi tunavyomkumbuka kibaki mm-hmm. kibaki alicheza raila mhm akaapishwa aka usiku usiku mm-hmm. but wengi huwa tunakumbuka what he did inji mm-hmm. livogeuka okay no, na, nakumbuka alivyo at first walivyoingia akaanza na ile mambo ya mm-hmm. declaring wealth watu wengi walikasirika mhm kama afadhali siku za moi but kwa sababu walikuwa hawajui okay fast forward wakaanza kuona taxes zao zinafanya nini barabara mm-hmm. hizo hapo mm-hmm. ni uchumi unaendelea mm-hmm. fresh mhm hana kelele kelele kibao mm-hmm. yeye yako, yako 
behind the scenes and ajenga nchi mm-hmm. so tutamkumbuka kibaki forever so i usually assume it doesn't matter ulifikaje huko but at least penda nchi yako kiasi mm-hmm. kwamba watu wakukumbuke okay wa huyu jamaa alivyoingia alitumia mm-hmm. ya nchi mhm barabara hizo nini ka uchumi ukaboreka unaona maana sio kila mtu atafika university okay uh, akaongeza kibaki aliongeza university kibao technical mm-hmm. colleges nini mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that just because sikupata b plus and above okay. doesn't mean sasa ndio hivyo tertiary education imeisha mhm unaona wengi wetu mm-hmm. tutoroka Kenya kwa sababu ya hiyo mhm Mike mimi sikutaka kwenda kufanya bachelor of arts. Okay. Which is hiyo ndio ambayo nilikuwa naenda kuitwa. So nikakata mm-hmm. stack bachelor of arts, nilikuwa mm-hmm. na degree ambayo nataka kufuata. Mm-hmm. Nikabidi nikaondoka Kenya many years ago. Mhm. Na mimi niliondoka siku za moyo. Mhm. But I would have wished uh, yeah, na na dhambi zake zote Mhm. Angeli alipofika status za sema okay. Mhm. Nimepigania chikiti wacha sasa ni waoneshe wa Kenya what i can do for them mm-hmm. instead sasa ni kuangamiza na unaona unaona kama kwa mfano hizi pesa ambazo anangangana kukusanya je ni, ni kurudisha alizo alizozitumia during campaign kwa sababu nakumbuka eh, alikuwa alikuwa <laughs> alikuwa akienda mahali anasema mama mboga ameachiwa milioni tatu wana boda boda ameachiwa milioni mbili anaenda kwa kundi ya vijana anaacha pesa ilikuwa ni kuacha pesa kuacha pesa na hapo ndo akarudi akasema nitaacha sasa hii mambo ya kuacha pesa alafu nitaunda hasla fund na hapo mm-hmm. hasla fund nikishaunda hapo nitaweka bilioni kadhaa bilioni hamsini, wakati mwingine kwa semo bilioni mia moja. so ilikuwa inategemea anaongea kiwa kwa sehemu gani ya nchi lakini baada ya kuingia hata hizo pesa alikuwa anapeana nikana kwamba hata hakuna hizo empowerment alizokuwa kizita hizo forums hazifanyiki tena Yeah. Eh, hata hizo fan, yeah. Yeah. Fan, 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 fan. bila riba na iko yeah. na riba already. Yeah, so, na wana kuf, wana kusumbua kweli nasikia wanakupatia mm-hmm. hela kidogo wa hakupatie muda hiyo 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 loan. Unapewa, unapewa, unapewa shilingi 500 unafarudisha na siku 14. Na hizo siku 14 mm-hmm. unafaua umefanya faida kwa mfano, unafaua mm-hmm. umefungua biashara because wanasema hiyo ni pesa ya kufungua biashara ufungue biashara ya shilingi 500 wewe umepata faida na baada ya kupata faida baada ya siku 14 wewe umerejesha usiporejesha riba inaongezeka kidogo ina ina, ina pesa ambayo unakatwa hata kabla hujapewa shilingi 500 kwa hivyo kama ulikopa 500 unakatwa mm. shilingi 25 so hivyo basi unapewa shilingi 475 hmm. so shilingi 475 yeah. utafanyia kazi biashara utaanza nayo gani and you how kwenye market hata ukisema mm-hmm. utatafuta uta labda gomba la ndizi ukauze mm-hmm. lazima ulipe hapo kwenye market sio lazima ulipe shilingi aidha 20 ama 50 depending mahali wewe uko yeah, kama utabebeo utabebeo hiyo mzigo yako shilingi 50 ya boda boda itakatwa tu kwa ile pesa Kato. wakati yeah. una withdraw hiyo pesa inakatwa na safari kom safari kom Yeah, <laughs> so mwisho wa siku ni pesa ngapi ume, umewekeza kwa biashara? Yeah, hii ni, ni it, it is a big lie. Ni, ni mm-hmm. kuhada wananchi ni it's a useless uh, endeavor. Kwa hivyo mm-hmm. our they are just leeches kwa kimombo. Mm-hmm. The, the, wana leech kwa wananchi which it is painful kuwa wanatafuta kwa wale wale watu wadogo. Mhm. Ndio hao wanataka hapo hapo. Mhm manake watu wengi wenye hela ambao wangefuatwa mhm hawataenda down easy mhm yeah mimi for example mimi uh, sio kuwa mimi ni multi millionaire lakini mimi hawezi kunichezea wanavochezea mwananchi mdogo kama mm-hmm. jamaa boda boda hivi mhm yeah nitawa dismiss mm-hmm. unajua sasa for example mimi ni kija Kenya ukiingia Jomo Kenyatta Bayoda au wao jamaa wanataka kitu kidogo. Mhm. Kaya popote yani haitowai kuisha until mm-hmm. mtu mdogo 
hapandishu kwenye economic status. Leo leo nimemwona Ole Sapit. Ole Sapit leo amesema vitu vingi. Mm. <laughs> uh, kwanza kabisa Ole Sapit unamkumbuka alikuwa alikuwa mchungaji wa kwanza kuongoza mm. maombi baada ya Ruto kusemekana ndiye rais. Hapa ni Ole Sapit yes. akiwa bomas aki, yes. akiomba na akishukuru Mungu. Hapo yes. si, si makosa kulingana na mimi. Yeah. Na alifanya jinsi alivyokuwa ameshauriwa kufanya wakati huo. Right. Lakini miezi sita baadaye leo ametoa speech. Leo mm-hmm. ametoa speech mwanzo anakashifu eh, jinsi Ruto amekuwa kifanya uteuzi. Right? Yes. Anasema yes. kwamba ya kwanza Ruto amekuwa kifanya uteuzi wa kikabila. Kikabila. <laughs> amekuwa yeah. kama, kama 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 lugha yako ni aidha kikuyu ama ki challenge ama lugha ambayo yeye brada ako na preference kwayo wewe unapata kazi vya haraka yeah. lakini Ole Sapit anakashifu hiyo sisemi alifanya makosa kuomba maana maombi ni, ni, ni bora lakini hmm. kanisa nikana kwamba sasa kanisa iliyomsupport William Ruto leo na siku ambazo zimepita tunaona ni kama wameanza kujitoa Mm. kuwa wa kwanza kumkashifu yeye na tabia na zaidi ya yote na na na, na, na miswalda ambayo analeta. Je, unaona hii ndio kuwa mwanzo wa yeye kuanguka? Mwisho mwisho serikali yake itaanguka. Mimi mm. na naweza na ku ku ku, 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 ku gauge vile. Maana nimeona video naye msali ya Mudavadi amekashif free tax bill hii financial hii ilikuwa ili, 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 ili ya last year hii msali ilikuwa ilikuwa before awe prime minister ndio hii hapa the kenyan worker ah, kwa hivyo hiyo ni tofauti purports to be an intervention eh, that will provide comfort kasifu, and shelter the, 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 yet it is at once unakumbuka wakati uhuru alikuja na hii mambo ya nyumba alisema iwe 1.5 yes eh, percent But sasa ya Ruto ni 3% actually double. Tofauti ni kwamba uh, wakati ya, ya, ya William ya, ya Uhuru Kenyatta ilikuwa 1.5 okay. hapa ni msali akikashifu. Right? Maybe tutasikiza uh, kidogo. Insensitive. Burdensome. Because you are taxing an already of a local. It is also unlawful. This worker is already burdened with just about the highest income tax in the world today. Add to this value added tax on a wide range of goods and services. Load on a myriad of levies on petrol and petroleum products. Then now bring in this new levy. You are killing the goose that lays the golden egg Kenyans so hapa 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 huyu jamaa eh, msalia huyu ndugu yetu msalia hapa hako amepewa kazi hapa alikuwa anajitokeza yeah. the same character tumejaribu ku describe eh. alikuwa anajitokeza yeah. kama eh, mjali watu kama mtu ambaye anaweza tetea wananchi <laughs> lakini fast forward eh, a few moments later ndio huyu hata haongei sijamsikia kiongelea swala amenyamaza so is it ka, ni tabia ya wanasiasa kuwa conman ama ni vipi ni tabia yao eh uh, kwa, kwa Kiswahili huwa wanasema uh, wenga walisema uh, nyani haoni kundule okay wakati wa uhuru walikuwa na kashif watafanya mm-hmm. the same thing Yaani ni kama wanaakiliza kuku yani walisahau. Mm-hmm. Lakini sio kwa walisahau ni kufanya wakenya wajinga. Mm-hmm. That is what it is. Wanajifanya wamesahau lakini mm-hmm. uzuri wa video kama hata nilikuwa sijui kama hii ilikuwa ya last year. Nilikuwa nafikiria mm-hmm. ni juzi nikasema ah huyu jamaa anamchokoza William Ruto na yeye anamfanyia kazi takwaje. Mm-hmm. Kumbe ni kama ni ya last year sasa it is even worse. Mm-hmm. Manake sasa yeye is captured kwa video akikashif 1.5. Na sasa mm-hmm. wao wanafanya 
double the the rate mhm mm mm -hmm. wamesahau kuna huyu ja mimi nani kama wamesahau nakumbuka pia kuna kuna una wakati walikuwa walikuwa um, wanamkashi rais kwa sababu ya kupitisha mswadi ya, ya 8% fuel VAT yes na kukakuwa na mdahalo mkali sana bungeni na wakapigana hata wengine wakamwagiana maji sio kama unakumbuka yeah. wakati huo wanatanga tanga na wanakieleweke <laughs> wakipimana yeah. nguvu right. wakati huo akina dende nyoro walikuwa wa kwanza kukashifu mm -hmm. eh hebu msikie hapa dende nyoro the leaders of hardship i want to tell this government we are giving them an ultimatum within one day leo hii kisha lazima waiki time kutano wa dharura na waodoe hiyo maneno ya kuogeza kodi katika mafuta watu wetu ya boda boda wanaumia watu wetu wa matatu wanaumia wameumizwa na corona wako na maloans kwa bank and it is very very uncouth for the government to purport to increase the prices of fuel products ya pili so apo 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 ishongwa ana, ana sorry not ishongwa dende nyoro yeah. unajua alikuwa anapinga nini 8%, 8 ya fuel levy unajua leo ni ngapi 16% 16% double double that, that is we are talking about roughly a year yeah that was a year ago or 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 a year and a half or something like that something like that mm -hmm. very very unfair because <laughs> na sio kuwa mishahara ili, iliongezwa mahali popote ah, ah, basically pay ya badilika so kwa ile ile kwa ile ile mshahara wako ule ule mmoja mhm mm kukutax zaidi NHIF ndio hiyo eh ndio hiyo wanataka sijui uh, house houses nene hiyo uh, bills as landlords sijui mhm mm uh, wanataka Uh, other than NHIF kuna nini zingine zinatakuwa of course kuna income tax yon kawaida tayari imeongezwa wale walikuwa wanalipa 30 watalipa 35% unaona sasa mna, una increase maana wewe mnajitakia nyinyi tu mm -hmm. as a government lakini mm -hmm. hamjali wale wanaotozwa mhm mm those deductions you have no control over wewe unaenda kazini okay. kama kawaida mhm pay slip ikija unasinda ah kulikoni kwa hivyo mm -hmm. ikipita maskini employees wa Kenya salaried employees mm -hmm. it's a very sad state of affairs mimi sijui ah jamaa huwa wanalala vipi lakini mm -hmm. uh, something has to change at some point sijui okay na jeru but when you remember When you remember taxes I remember one time I remember one time Ruto I think he had his money we may say one year ago ni mda mrefu lakini mm. this is like three, four weeks ago this were his words his sentiments and how he viewed issues of taxes mm -hmm. 